Today I'm going to show you how to turn an ERC20 token contract into an upgradable contract. Now if you already have your ERC20 token deployed onto the blockchain, then you won't be able to upgrade it. However, if you have not already deployed the ERC20 contract, and you're thinking about making it into an upgradable contract, then this video is for you. And just to make this example a little bit more practical, this ERC20 token is ownable. So only the owner will be able to mint some tokens. Now let me show you how to turn this regular ERC20 contract into an upgradable ERC20 contract. The first thing that I'll do is create a new file. So I'll call this my token upgradable.soul. And then we'll start off by copying the regular ERC20 token contract and then paste it in here. Next, we'll turn this regular ERC20 contract into an upgradable contract. The first thing that we'll do is change the imports. Now, if I open package.json, notice that I've imported open Zeppelin contracts. This holds the regular ERC20 contract, and I also have open Zeppelin slash contracts upgradable. This library has all of the contracts from open Zeppelin, which are converted to be upgradable. So we'll change our import from the regular Open Zeppelin contracts to Open Zeppelin contracts upgradable. So we'll change the first import by saying Open Zeppelin slash contracts upgradable. And the contract that we're going to be importing is not a regular ERC20 contract, but ERC20 upgradable. We'll do the same for the ownable contract. So we'll say Open Zeppelin slash contracts upgradable access ownable upgradable so now we're importing erc20 upgradable and ownable upgradable so we also change what this contract inherits from saying erc20 to erc20 upgradable and the same for ownable ownable upgradable now remember that having a constructor inside an upgradable proxy contract is dangerous code, so we'll have to remove this and then replace it with an initialization function. So to do that, the first thing that we'll do is import the initialization contract from Open Zeppelin Contracts Upgradable. And then this contract, my token, will also inherit initializable. Initializable. And then we'll create a function that's going to replace the constructor we'll name it initialize if you need to pass in any parameters then you pass it in here for this example we'll keep it simple and don't pass any parameters this function will be external and for safety reasons this function should only be able to call once so we'll enforce that by putting a modifier called initializer which is imported from the contract initializable now notice for the constructor, we were calling the constructor of ERC20 and also the constructor of the ownable contract. But since we removed it, we need to manually call it. So inside the initialize function, we need to manually call the initialization function for ERC20 and ownable. But what function do we need to exactly call? So we're going to go look for the contract ERC20 upgradable and ownable inside the node modules. So open node modules. Open Zeppelin, Contracts Upgradable, Token, ERC20, ERC20 Upgradable. And if you look over here, this is the function that we need to call, which replaces the constructor for the ERC20. Likewise, if you look for the ownable contract, then this is the function that we need to call to initialize the ownable upgradable contract. Back inside my my token, actually, I'm going to change this my token contract to my token up gradable. So back inside the function initialize, I'm going to call the initialization function for ERC20 by typing two underscores ERC20 underscore init. And then inside here, we pass in the parameters like we would have passed in inside the constructor. The first parameter is the name of the token. So we'll say my token. And the second parameter is the symbol. I'll just say mine. We also need to initialize the ownable contract. Again, so we'll type two underscore ownable, one underscore init. 
the ownable contract doesn't take any parameters, so we'll just call it without passing any inputs. And now we have successfully converted a regular ERC20 contract into an upgradable ERC20 contract. Let's make sure that this contract compiles. So I'm going to open my terminal, and then we'll compile the contract by typing mpx hardhat compile. However, we have customized our hardhat configuration a little bit, so we'll need to import some environment variables before we execute this command. So we'll do that by typing emb cat.emb. The first part of the command will load the environment variables, and the rest of the command will be to compile the contract. The compilation failed, and I wasn't expecting this. The reason it failed was because the linearization of inheritance graph impossible, meaning that the order of inheritance is causing the error. For solidity, inheritance must be from most base like to most derived. Out of these three contracts, initializable is the most base like, so we'll move this from the very right to the very left. Initializable is the most base like contract and then we'll inherit the rest of the contract. Open the terminal, clear the error message, and then we'll try compiling again. And the contract compiled successfully. So this is how you create an upgradable ERC20 contract. Thanks for watching and see you later.